We've reported on the invasive European green crab and the impact they have on our local ecosystems for years. If they keep reproducing, the concern is their population could outcompete local shellfish. Fox 13 photojournalist Stephanie Schroeder went to Seabeck to join a volunteer group that's helping track the species. <laughs> See ya. So we meet once a month, two days a month. Okay. <laughs> I always like getting out the, the soci but sociality of the whole thing. We enjoy each other's company. Okay, that's never seen that. A female hairy crab? Contributing to the research, that's the main part. Plus, I like looking at the animals and seeing what is here. Okay. Look at the legs. Have, have they got little hairs on the hair. legs? Have an education in, in zoology. Never worked in it, but this is a hobby. And so I like to contribute. Dump them in and I'll get, here's the clip. I'm gonna put the clip in. Today we kicked off the 2025 monitoring season for green crab at Nix Lagoon in Seabeck. Crab team started in 2015. We got our first traps in the water before any detections of green crab had been made in the Washington portion of the Salish Sea. Bad news, boss. Since then, populations in the region have been growing. Oh, wow, that's four. A lot of the concerns around green crab have to do with its role as a predator and a competitor. It has a really wide diet, and that means that if it becomes abundant, it can affect populations of almost any native organisms. We found seven green crabs in only six traps that we set. Four in that one trap. As far as I know, that's the highest catch that we have had within the monitoring network. So to see this number of green crabs in the traps early in the year is, is always a sign of concern. Oh, there's so many. Yeah. Each year since, it seems like we've gotten a little bit more, and this is the worst we've ever had it here in the lagoon. It's not nice. Hopefully we can get, a, get ahead of them and keep them from getting out of control like they are elsewhere. There's no way we could have covered as much ground as we have without volunteers at the center of this monitoring network. Folks who come and volunteer to work in places like this, they come here not because always of green crab at the outset, they come here because these are beautiful places that they care about. And, and this is something that threatens them. And that's what keeps them coming back month after month. Their commitment to this place and the way that they get to learn about their own shorelines makes them incredible advocates, not only for the green crab issue, but also uh, for the preservation of these shorelines. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> green crab yeah, will continue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, that was Fox 13 photojournalist Stephanie Schroeder behind the camera. If you see a green crab along the coast, you're asked to report it to the state's wildlife department through their website. That site also has tips to tell a European green crab apart from a red crab.